This is going to be a quick tutorial on how you can create this article highlight animation in DaVinci Resolve. Now let's go ahead and drag in our Fusion composition. Right click, open in Fusion page. And from here, let's go ahead, drag in our background, connect this with the media out. And for the color, let's go with somewhere, something like this. And you can go ahead and download any logo for the article that you're using. So you can go over to any article website and you can go ahead and download their logo. And also you need to copy the text from that website. So first of all, let's go ahead and connect this logo. Let me decrease the size, move this right here. And now I'm going to add in text. Let's go ahead and connect this with the merge one. And I already have copied this text. You can go ahead and copy any text from any article that you want. And the font that I'm going to be using is going to be Montserrat. And this will be at bold and the size would be at 0.05. Also, the age anchor, change this to left and then move this right here. I also select the logo and you can move this right here. And the text, let me move this up right here. So something like this, this is the heading. And now we need the body of the text. So let's go ahead and copy this text one, control C and then unselect and then press control V to paste. And then let's connect this with the merge two. And in this one, let's change the name to text two. So I already have the text copied. I'm going to just paste it. And the font this time is going to be Montserrat, but this will be at regular. Let's go ahead, move this down and also change the size to 0 0.03. Now you can align this somewhere around here. And that's it. Now overall, let me just move this right here so that this is in the center. All right, so this looks good. Now what we need to do is we need to select the portion or you can say the text that we need to highlight. So for example, let me just zoom in. So let's say we want to highlight this part where it says at least another nine or so remained undiscovered. So for example, we need to only highlight this part and we need to fade out the rest of the text or the even the image, whatever is in the background. For that, what you need to do is you can create another copy for this text too. But before you do that, if you want to add an animation for this text, you should do this beforehand. Otherwise, you would need to do that again and again. Now, let's go over at 10 and let's go ahead, create this right on animation T frame right here and then change this to zero, add zero. And then let's, for example, let's go over at 15, go over to shading. Actually, let's go over at 20 and then create a keyframe at opacity and then at zero, let's change this to zero. So if you play this, this is the animation that we will get. Now we can go ahead and copy this text to press Control C, unselect, and then Control V. And let me just rename this to text three, or you can even call it highlight, whatever you want. And let's connect this with the merge three. And this is just going to be the same thing, but we do need to only highlight the part, or you can say the mask out the part that we need to highlight. So first of all, let me go over to text two and unselect this. So only the text three is visible. And now go ahead and add in this rectangle and connect this with the text three. Now let's go ahead and change the width and the height so that this matches with the part that we need to highlight. So right here, let me move this right here. Of course, this depends on the kind of text that you have, but this is the way to do it. All you need to do is just highlight the part. So something like this and make sure nothing else is visible. Only this part is. So right here, you will see this is visible. Let me go ahead and change the width a little bit. So that's it. This looks good. Now, for example, if you wanted to add another highlight, so for example, it wasn't just in one line. For example, you wanted to highlight another part that was somewhere around here maybe. So for that, you can just add in another rectangle, connect this with this rectangle. And then, you know, you can go and move this right here, change the width. So for example, we wanted to highlight this earth. So we could do that by doing this, for example. But since we don't need that, I'm just showing you as an example that if you want to add more than one line, you want to highlight more than one line, you can do it this way. So right now I don't need that. So I'm just going to use this rectangle one mask. And now, how do we actually do the highlight? If we enable the text two right now, you will notice that, okay, nothing happens. So what do we do? 
Well, what we need to do is, first of all, let's select all of these, the text 3, merge 4, and all of these. Move it to the side. Now select your merge 3. And then click on brightness and contrast. So once you've connected it, make sure that this is connected. And if you change the gain, now you will notice that, okay, now it works. Like we have the highlighted part right here and the rest of the background is dim or you can say dark. So that's what we were going for. So now let's go over at, let's say, okay, so animation was ending at 20 for the text, that the text that we did right here, the write down and the opacity animation. Now let's say we go over at 40, create a keyframe, add gain, and then let's go over at 50. And then let's change this to 0 0.3. So if you play this, this is how it looks. And actually, if you think this is too fast, you can just go over at maybe, let's say, 60. Create a keyframe right here. And then let's remove the keyframe at 50. So let's see how this looks. All right, this looks much better. So we have the main thing done, the main highlight done. You can see that, okay, only this is visible. Right now, I noticed that I did not need this or. So for example, there is a mistake. We didn't need this part. So what we can do is simply just go back to the width and change it using the width and the center. So that's all you need to do. The part that we needed to highlight is done. Now go back to the main timeline. So in the main timeline, as you can see, this is how it looks. So let's go over at somewhere around, let's say three and let's Add in this adjustment clip, change the size so that this matches with the composition. And now let's go ahead and zoom this in to somewhere around here and then also change the X and the Y or something like this. All right. Now for the final thing, you can add this sound effect if you want to, just a camera sound effect, camera click sound effect. Let me just move this right here. And if you play this, here you will see, this is how it looks. So this was it for this video. It was a simple animation for your article highlights that you can do in DaVinci Resolve. If you're interested in learning motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve, you can go ahead and check out my channel. You can subscribe for more videos. So this was it for this video. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.